What's up, my flickheads? Today, we're diving into the vibrant and whimsical world of Deck Opens 2, the latest release from Studio M. It's a game that introduced me to the Deck Open genre as a whole. It was released on July 18, 2024, and it's already captured my heart with its really unique blend of action, strategy, and just pure, unadulterated fun. But before we get into the nitty gritty, let's define what a deco pin game really is, originating from a traditional Japanese finger flicking technique. And no, I'm not joking. Deco pin games involve using swift finger movements to interact with the game. Think cookie clicker, but with graphics, rounds, and strategy. In Deco Pin 2, you use these techniques to repel waves of mischievous donuts and hamburgers trying to escape your cafe. It's a test of your reflexes, some strategy, and how well you can handle the chaos with a smile, which you will be doing. Right off the bat, let's talk about the core gameplay loop. Clicking is going to happen. Often. That's apparently the genre. Which is fine by me. You're thrown into a colorful world where the only things that matter are your abilities to click and flick, cast spells, and keep those pesky donuts in line. I want to mention how Deco Pin 2 is delightfully easy to pick up. Whether you're a seasoned gamer or someone looking for a quick gaming fix, the intuitive controls and straightforward objectives make it accessible to all. The graphics? Absolutely outstanding, hilariously enough. Studio M really managed to create a game that's not only fun to play, but also just a treat for the eyes. The vibrant colors pop, the animations are fluid, and the little food designs are just the right amount of cute and crazy. It's entirely too beautiful for how much action starts going on in the later levels. Also, it's an auditory feast as well. The sound effects are crisp, the music is really catchy, and everything comes together to create a delightfully fun experience that will have you tapping away. Lastly, I wanted to touch on a factor that really influenced my overwhelmingly positive outlook on this title, and that's just how well it manages to express that turn off your brain factor. This game is the perfect escape. With its simple yet addictive gameplay, you can lose yourself for however long you want, letting the numbers and colors fly by as you level up your deco pin and unlock new spells. It's the kind of game that you can play after a long day when you just want to relax and have some fun. Deco Pins 2 is the kind of sequel that makes you want to play the original. It's easy to learn, hard to master, impossible not to enjoy. Garnering a strong recommendation from me. So if you're looking for a game that's fun, frantic, and full of flicks, Deco Pin 2 is just the game for you. Try not to get too lost in the sauce. Honestly, I had no expectations going into this. Which might have been why I was so impressed by this cheap and fun title from the crazy new genre that I'd never even heard of. What was a standout game that you've experienced that really broadened your gaming horizons? You know, you could leave me a comment and introduce me to it. And uh, while you're down there, why not give the video a like and subscribe to the channel? I'd personally appreciate it. And it helps the algo. Till next time.